Hey everyone, welcome to the Knit and Crochet Spot. My name's Melissa and I'm podcasting to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Monday, April 5th. I hope you all are doing well and thank you for joining me. I want to welcome all my new subscribers and welcome back all of my subscribers. I hope everybody had a great weekend and if you celebrated either Passover or Easter, I hope it was wonderful. I hope you had a great time with family, friends, and loved ones. And um, this um, podcast is about knitting and crochet. I show my finished objects, my works in progress, and yarn acquisitions and ac anything yarn-related acquisitions. I show all of that. In this podcast, I'm going to be showing, well, I don't have any finished objects. Um, I have three works in progress. And I do have some yarn acquisitions, but I'm going to keep that in a separate video. So if you see me with this shirt on, um, that's why I'm going to film them back to back. I just thought I would try um, to try it this way and see if it works better for me and for you and just see how that goes. So um, like I said, I have three finished objects. No, I have no finished objects and three works in progress. Um, I worked on some bigger items that I have going. I have, um, for me, what I would consider three big projects and I feel the need to get work on them a bit more. And it's hard. I don't actually gravitate towards working on them, but I forced myself to work on them. It's probably why I didn't crochet as much in the week was because I was like, you need to be working on this. And I was like, oh, I don't feel like it. So... But I did get to make some progress on them. And so enough of all that, we'll get onto it. So the first thing I'm gonna show is a knit sweater. And if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that the sweater is a, I've been working on this since before Christmas. So, but I did, I feel good about the progress that I made. I, I and mean, I do, I feel a lot better. So I finally, finished the body of the sweater. I bound off. Well, here's the sweater. And I finished this. Thank goodness. So I just have the, you know, I just have the sleeves to do. Um, I was, they want, the pattern called for you to do two inches of this and I, after about an inch and a half, a little bit more, I was like, nope, I'm done. But I feel really good about it. And it fits really well. I tried it on. It fits, maybe, I'm a little bit concerned it fits too well because when I go to wash it and lay it out to dry, I don't want it to grow any because I like it exactly how it fits. And it's it feels nice. So... So, well, okay, so last week when I podcast, I had knit, this is where I had stopped. And so I did all of that. And that, you know, I know for some people that's not a lot, but considering I just didn't really want to work on this and I forced myself, so I feel like I did a lot. <laughs> All right, so the pattern is by Hohi Locatelli. It is called the Basic Raglan Sweater. Yes. So here is a picture of the sweater. It's easy, it's an easy sweater. That's it. And it is a, it calls for DK weight yarn. And the yarn, and I don't have I have the label, but I used the very last bit of the ball to finish off this. I think I have a tail here somewhere. I have a lot of tails. Okay, so this is what was left. <laughs> so, but the tw the yarn is Knit Picks City Tweed. That's the kind of yarn. Um, that I used it. Um, it is a it's a DK weight plum wine, 123 yards, 50 grams, 55% merino wool, 
25% super fine alpaca and 20% donical tweed. So that's the kind of yarn that I'm using. And I think on the sleeves, I'll see if how this goes. But I think I'm gonna try to knit them. Um, not at the same time, obviously, but you know, I'm gonna cast on I'm or cast on. I'm going to pick up the stitches on each sleeve, two different needles, and like knit ten rows here and knit ten rows on this side. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So that is my knit sweater. Okay. And my next project is a crochet blanket that, you know, I have trouble, you know, getting motivated to, to work on, but I did a bit. So this is, this is a pattern by Lucy at Attic 24. It's called the, um, cozy, hmm. Cozy Comfort Stripes. I don't, I, I'll link it all down below. And this is it. I don't know, what is it called? Cozy Stripe Blanket. Mm. So here it is. Here's the blanket. I think it's pretty colors. Um, the last time I podcasted, this is where I was. And so I did that much it doesn't I know it doesn't seem like a lot but I just I really had to force myself I didn't knit for you know probably half the week because I didn't feel like it so but that's what I did so here's the blanket and the colors I'm using I'll just show you the ball band ball the balls of yarn real quick it's this yarn and I knit, or sorry, crochet two rows and then change a color. And I have a bunch of ends, but, and I'm, you know, I'm not going to, oh, look, I'm, look, I got a bunch of ends, Ooh. but I'm going to, I've never done this before not right definitely not on a blanket i definitely haven't done what i'm about to do <laughs> i'm going to tie knots and then just put a border over it like just tie knot there like tie knot these two where you know one ended and one began you have like the two strands every every section or new every two rows um and i'm don't know, but I might even put a little fabric glue on the ends of, but that's what I'm going to do because oh, the thought of that. Mm -mm. So back to the yarn. So I showed you the yarns and this, the yarns are the loops and thread baby rainbow yarn for, that I got at Michael's. They're 503 yards, 200 grams. They, it's a number four. It is 100% polyester. It's made in China. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I think that's it. This is called Pink. I should remember. I can't remember them, though. <clears throat> this is light gray. This is Blue Skies, and this is Cream. So there is that, works in progress. And I'll put it all back, sorry. And, um, oh, I didn't, I'm using a, for this blanket, a number six, six or no, six millimeter crochet hook for this blanket. And for the sweater, I was using a four millimeter knitting needle. And then, yeah, and then, you know, I just did the bottom and you switch to 3.5 millimeter. So that's, that works in progress. And I have one more. And 
And these are my socks. <clears throat> so here's my sock, knit sock. All right, this is where I will. I really didn't do hardly anything on this. So this is where I was. I knit my socks cuff down. So that's where I was. And then this is what I did this past week. And the pattern I'm using is the crunkled socks by KF Jones of the Bakery Bears, the, you know, the Bakery Bears podcast on YouTube. And I mean, she has, well, under KF Jones, I'm pretty sure, a lot of patterns for socks and other things. So that's the pattern I'm using. And I like the sock. I love the color. I love these. Just, just, I would like to get this colorway and knit these socks just like this. I like them a lot. Um, so the, the yarn I'm using for this sock, for this, is this yarn right here. And it is by Lolo Did It on her Everyday Sock Base. It's Ravenclaw is the colorway. It is, let me see, 75% um, superwash merino. 25% nylon, 100 grams, 463 yards. That's what I'm using. And it came with, or I don't, I can't remember if it, I can't remember if it came with it or if I just got, I got this skein to go with it because I like the, the Ravenclaw colors. Um, what do they call this? Bronze and I like blue and bronze, like the book, instead of just the blue and silver, like the movie. Is it bronze? Anyway, but because I like this, I said this last time, I'm going to say it again. Because I like this sock, just like it is all one color, I think I'm going to keep this sock all one color. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, I this is there's no pattern for this. It's just what I what I how I like to knit my socks. I knit them on or these socks I'm knitting on 2.25. I always use 90% of the time 2.25 needles on a 32 inch cord, which before this sock I always used I did magic loop with a 40 inch cord needle. And um I have to say I like the shorter cords, this 32 better. Um, and these needles, they're new. The first time I'm using these needles. But these are Addy Rocket Squared. And I'm enjoying them. Let's see. And I do, like I said, cuff down. I do 15 rows of 2x2 two two rib. And I think this ha so far has, so I've done, I think I've done um, three repeats. And yes, this is. So I don't know how many rows. It's not 50 rows. It's less than 50 rows. Say that. Because I don't want to give. I don't know. How, I don't want to give too much away. So I don't. I'm going to end it there. So because it's a paid for pattern. But I've done the repeats about three times. And I'm going to go a little bit more to make it a little longer. And this is lovely yarn. These I really like these. So that is all my works in progress and I hope to have a, a more productive week. Although I do feel some sense of accomplishment. I worked on things that I could easily not work on. Um, and you know, it feels I kind of off my mind about the sweater that feels good. So, but now I think, oh, well, since I did that, I, I can cast something new on. It's like, well, no, maybe you should just keep working on that. You'll feel so much better when it's all done. So that's it, everyone. Um, thank you again for watching this video. Um, or, I don't know if I said that before, but thank you very much. Um, if you like the content of my video and you wouldn't mind, I, sh I would sure appreciate you subscribing to my channel and giving this a thumbs up and leaving a comment. 
so until and then um i'm going after this i'm going to be filming some yarn haul videos so that those will come up in the week so look out for those and until i see you next time i hope you all are doing well and that's it bye